Hello, I'm Sela Depp. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Dr. Maria Montessori understood the power of storytelling as a form of instruction. She began many of her lessons with a story to develop curiosity, meet young learners where they were at, and increase oral language vocabulary. My colleagues and Montessori teachings have inspired me to create this grammar story as an introduction to the grammar boxes and symbols used for sentence parsing in the elementary schools. I have purposely not colored the symbols in every second picture in the video, so you may use screenshots to print and create your own booklet to color. The mind remembers what the hand does. I hope teachers and parents will use this story as a tool to begin lessons in grammar and will refer to this narrative when presenting each of the grammar boxes individually. The Grammar Story Presented with Association Montessori International Color Coding The Grammar Story in the beginning, there were no words for communicating. The first words were naming words used to communicate the names of people, places, and things. We call these words nouns and use a large black triangle to represent them in our grammar work. The black color symbolizes carbon, one of the first minerals discovered by humans. The triangle shape represents the pyramids, some of the oldest structures on Earth. The word dogs names the kind of animals that you see. Therefore, the word dogs is a noun. The next kind of word is the article. It tells if one is speaking about a noun in general or a more specific one. In English, there are only three words that are articles. They are a and an for general nouns and the for a specific noun. The article is part of the noun family and is always near the noun, so it is shaped as a small triangle and is a tan color. You can see here that I have colored the, an, and a a tan colored because they are articles. The next kind of word is the adjective. It describes what kind of noun or how many of the noun there are and is also part of the noun family. It is represented by a dark brown triangle. You can see here that I have colored the word to dark brown. It describes how many dogs there are. Therefore, the word two is an adjective. The next kind of word is the verb. It is a word used to describe an action and is symbolized by a circle that is shaped like the sun that gives us energy. It is like a ball or a planet that can move all around and is colored red like the blood that moves in your veins. You can see here in the sentence, the two dogs stand, that I've colored the word stand red. It describes what the dogs are doing. Therefore, stand is a verb. The next kind of word is the adverb. Here, the adverb is pictured orbiting the verb like a planet. It depends on the verb for its existence. It is colored pink like the planet Venus. You can see in the sentence, the two dogs stand still, that I've colored the word still pink. The word still describes how the dogs are standing. Therefore, the word still is an adverb. The conjunction is a kind of word that joins two sentences. Some common conjunctions are and, but, and because. It is symbolized as a yellow rectangle, like a link in a chain. 
You can see here in the sentence, the two dogs stand still and the two dogs look, that I have used the word and as a conjunction to join two complete ideas. I've colored it yellow for the conjunction. The preposition is a word that acts like a bridge to other parts of the sentence. The preposition usually describes the position of an action or object. Words like over, under, around, through, on, off, up, and down are common prepositions. The preposition is symbolized as a purple crescent shape. You can see here in this sentence, the two dogs stand still and the two dogs look over at a cat, that I have colored the words over and at purple. The words over and at describe where the dogs are looking. Therefore, over and at are preposition words. The next type of word is the pronoun a type of word that can replace the noun and article in a sentence. It is part of the noun family and is symbolized by a tall green triangle. Some common pronouns are I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. You can see here in the sentence, the two dogs stand still, and they look over at a cat, that I have colored the word they green for the pronoun. The word they replaced the second set of words for the two dogs. When we use pronouns, we avoid repeating ourselves over and over again and make our writing sound more interesting. The last kind of word is the interjection. The interjection is a word or phrase that is used to express a strong feeling or demand. It stands alone and is symbolized by a combination of the noun and verb shape. It is usually placed with a circle at the bottom, like an exclamation mark, and is blue in color. You can see that I've added two words, uh-oh, followed by an exclamation mark. The words uh-oh are colored blue for the interjection. The interjection is used to express my concern and my worry about what will happen when those two dogs see that cat. When you look for grammar material online, you will find that there are different color combinations for the grammar symbols. It does not matter what color coding you use, as long as you are consistent in your presentation. Check my YouTube channel for my other grammar story, which uses the traditional color combination at right. Please like and subscribe to my channel to be advised of new lesson presentations. Thank you.